Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Today we're going to talk about trying to match the hatch with the small forage that a lot of our major game fish are keying in on this time of year. Whether it's bass, walleye, muskie, stripers, there are a lot of them that are primarily feeding on really small bait fish. Uh, it could be different shad species, different minnows, different shiners, things like that. But it's amazing to me how you could have some really big fish keying in on tiny, tiny little bait fish. And for me, when the fish are really keyed in on those small bait fish, it's really hard to get them to bite some different baits. And I find that I really do need to try to match the hatch. So today I wanted to provide with you some of my absolute favorite minnow imitation baits. These are baits that work really well when the fish are keying in on that small bait fish profile. Uh, you know, you can throw a bigger bait, you know, to try to entice those fish to eat it. And sometimes they'll actually key in on that bigger size bait. But for the most part, I find that it's really difficult to get them to switch from small profiled bait fish to a bigger bait. So I try to match the hatch in this occasion and, and present them with a very, very similar minnow imitating bait. So that's what I want to share with you today. Before I do get into that, though, I want to remind you that I do have a members only uh, part of my YouTube channel. If you want to check that out, go to my homepage, click on the join button, and you can find out all you need to find out about the members only section. But it includes additional monthly videos and a monthly member only live stream, as well as direct access to me to ask your questions. So check that out. And if you want to support the channel in another manner and you need to purchase some tackle, please use my tackle warehouse affiliate link. I'll provide that in the video description. Uh, so that if you're interested in purchasing some, ta some tackle and you want to support the channel, please use that link. You can also bookmark it for future uses as well. Okay, so let's talk about some of these minnow imitating baits. Generally speaking, the better minnow imitation uh, imitating baits are only going to be two to three inches long. That's what I have found personally. The problem with that is there's not a ton of really good ones out there. There's a lot, uh, and it's not... I shouldn't say they're not good. There's just not a lot of them out there. A lot of manufacturers seem to be um, just avoiding that market or they're not making those baits. And in reality, a lot of these are actually more of like a crappie bait. Uh, that's how small we're talking. Uh, so let's break it down. Let me show you one of the ones I'm talking about. This is one that's new to the uh, audience out there, but one of my favorites. And I've used this in some videos and caught a bunch of big smallmouth. This is the Berkeley Drip Minnow. This is their three inch size. Uh, and the cool thing I'm gonna point out with pretty much all these baits, they come in larger sizes as well. So if you're looking for a little bit bigger profile, you can still find it. But the Drip Minnow is one of the most lifelike looking ones out there. The movement on these are really cool. And that's one thing I'm gonna point out with all of these selections. They don't have big tail, like flapping tails. They all got a much more defined tail where you get very slight movement out of the tails which is very similar to what an actual minnow looks like in the water. They have tiny little tail kicks and those minnows are darting around. They don't have these big wide tail movements to move them, uh, to propel them through the water. But the drip minnow is an absolute killer. All of these two are going to be good on a drop shot. They're going to be good on a light uh, hover rig. You can throw them even on a really small uh, jig head if you want, just like a ball head jig head. But I personally like them on a drop shot and I really like them on a hover rig. Um, so the Drip Minnow is one of my favorites. Uh, another one that I've had really good success with, I just cut this one off my rod. This is the old Bass Tricks Flash Tricks. This is the four inch size. They do come a little bit smaller than that as well. Uh, again, the key with these baits is the movement. This bait glides through the water just like a minnow and you get really defined little vibration out of the tail an awesome setup for matching the hatch. So the Bass Tricks Flash Tricks is a great one. Now, if we're talking about minnow imitators, everyone out there would probably say, hey, you gotta have a boot tail. Well, this is the Easy Shiner, the Kitech Easy Shiner. They make this in a couple of different sizes, even smaller. This is the three inch size. They make them smaller than that if you wanna go smaller. But the reason the Easy Shiner is so good is because the tail kick on this, being a boot tail, is not a wide boot tail. This bait will stay steady and the boot tail will just stay real tight. So it is a very uh, condensed boot tail kicking motion. And that's why if I'm trying to match the hatch, the Easy Shiner is a great one to go with. 
that's an absolute killer on a drop shot. You can still fish them like a swim bait if you want to do that too, but uh, it's a really good drop shot bait. Another one, this is the Tiny Fluke, the Zoom Tiny Fluke, uh, a great minnow imitating profile. This is another one that there's times where I feel like they would they don't want a full size fluke. They just want a small minnow profile. Put this on a drop shot and you can just hold it there and that tail does exactly what it's doing. It just you get that little defined movement out of it. Works great on a hover rig as well. And then the last one that I want to talk about is just the old Twitch Tail Minnow by Berkeley. That's just the three inch size. Again, it's a straight tail minnow that just has a little bit of kick and motion. Uh, and just kind of normal swimming motion in it, but it's a great, great bait for matching the hatch. These are all fish catchers. Like, don't just think you have to use these when they're eating small profile baits. You can throw these year round and you're going to catch an absolute ton of fish, whether that's, you know, little six or eight inch bass, whether it's perch, whether it's bluegill, you catch everything with these. But when the bass are keying in on that really small forage, and you want to match that forage size, these are the ones that I have found to be the most productive for me. So let me know in the comment section, what are some of your favorite soft plastic baits for trying to match the hatch when the fish are feeding on that really small forage? I'd love to hear from you guys as well. I'm always looking to try new baits. I'm sure there's other viewers out there that, that would like to hear from you guys as well. So thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned, we'll have a new one coming out tomorrow.